Hey guys and welcome back into another video. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I just wanted to start by looking back through some of the charts that we have thrown on some of our plays on our radar over the last week because they have been performing extremely well. And then I'm going to give you a few top stocks to put on your radar today because we have seen a lovely pullback in the markets in the past 24 hours. And some uh, EV and solar stocks are sitting at some really nice buy zones right now. And you may not have heard of some of these companies, so I'm going to put them on your radar. It's going to be a bit of a longer video today, so stick with me. If you do find any value at any time in the video then make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already it's free and you'll never miss an episode I do videos like this every day and sometimes I am talking to the camera as well so make sure to check out any of my other videos uh, if you haven't seen them already I do talk about a lot of plays at the start of the week that I will put on your radar and then see them moving up in the short and long term as to which plays are going to be the best now I want to start by talking about ABML. We did have a lovely pullback in ABML yesterday. It is now sitting at $2.80. I did call out this on my channel yesterday. I made a video about how we are due a pullback, hopefully to the $3 range. We actually did break down from that level of support and we did kind of bounce off that 100 SMA line. You know, I guys, I like to talk about, about the technicals. So I always give you little tips on that. As we can see, we are almost testing that 100 SMA. So we have found a nice area of support here, as you can see, around that $3 range down to the $2.50 zone. So if you haven't considered loading up on American Battery Metals, then again, make sure to do some more research on them. I will link my video from yesterday so you can learn some more. But I do think in the long term, this is going to be a good play. I did load up a few hundred extra shares on that yesterday. And again, our lovely Mara. Almara actually came down off those highs from about $29. It did start to bounce in this area of consolidation. I said to load up on Mara anywhere below $20, especially if you can get it below $17. We actually did hit $16 at some point yesterday before moving up all the way and breaking that resistance into the $21 zone. Now, I do think Mara is going to 2x in the coming months ahead at the end of this year. So I think that this is an easy $40, $50 stock because they follow the price of Bitcoin. This is a crypto mining asset. Again, if you would like more videos on Mara, then make sure to check out my other videos. So congratulations to anyone that did catch those. Now, I would like to talk to you guys a bit more about some new stocks. So today I'm going to start off by talking about the solar stock, which is called Rene Solar. So right now you can see they've had a nice pullback on this share price and I'm going to bring you down to their website. So we've had about a 40% drop in that share price from about $37 all the way down to the $20 zone. So I'm just going to go across right now onto their website for you. So Rene Solar are actually a Chinese company and uh, they're based in China. They're expanding globally. They don't just base themselves by, you know, you know buying and selling uh, solar. They actually do LEDs and they have projects where they actually buy land, for example, in Europe or in uh, the United Kingdom and what they do is they stock that land full of solar panels and then what they do is they sell that land with the panels on and they make big profit on that. They actually did just partner with a company called Eiffel Investment, right? This is a big company. Eiffel Investment are a $3 billion company and this company is going to have a 51% stake in their company moving forward. Now the good thing about uh, Eiffel Investments is that they're based in Europe. So of course this is going to allow them to expand out of that massive Chinese market and become a global leader. They have been going for more than 15 years and they are still in those early stages but of course with Joe Biden as president we can expect to see a nice increase in the next three to four years especially in those energy stocks because this stock is just getting started. Something I want to bring to your attention as well is on their website Rene Sol says it is in their mission to help reduce lighting costs while enhancing environmental stewardship which I really love and they've put this around the world. Now guys this goes to show me that they are thinking about being a global leader and I do really really like the fact that that we have actually seen that nice pullback if we're going back to the chart in that share price. Now, what I've done is I've actually put on the one hour uh, time frame for you. But if you can see up there, I've got the one hour time frame. Now, in our technicals, as you know, I like to use the RSI indicator for optimum entry, volume, and the SMA and EMA lines. As you can see, if it goes below 30, this usually is an indication that things are oversold. And what I do is I don't buy in as soon as it touches, I wait for it to retest up, touch that line 
of 30 and then I would buy into my position again we can start to see usually a support or resistance line of about 50 in the middle of this RSI so we can expect prices maybe to kind of swing around until it hits that 50 and then retest onto a downtrend unless it was to cross over and then re go into an uptrend so right now we are sitting again at the 200 SMA line we are bouncing off that as a support and I do think that we are going to see a nice retest of those new resistance areas which is going to be about the 25 to 26 dollar mark as you can see we do have some resistance points here and if we do break through that then again we are going to retest those highs with a nice 40% upside in the share price from where it's currently sitting at $20. So yesterday guys I did actually load up on this stock so if you haven't got Rene Solar on your radar then make sure to put SOL on your radar. Okay, that brings me to our next stock. I'm actually going to skip one down and we're actually going to be talking about Hylion. Now, if you don't know about Hylion, if I head over to their website, this is Hylion. Hylion are essentially, uh, they don't actually manufacture EVs, right? A lot of people think they manufacture EVs, but they don't actually manufacture their own EVs. But what they do do is they decrease the cost and fuel consumption of major operating expenses while seamlessly operating with a company's fleet of operational trucks by making them a hybrid. It designs and innovates and transforms forms any class 8 truck by selling to existing manufacturer fleets and essentially transforming them into an eco-friendly hybrid vehicle that is both EV and gas or petrol. These leading commercialized transportation vehicles will be transformed into these eco-friendly vehicles on a large scale as some of these companies use at thousands you know thousands of, of trucks this is going to be a massive industry that they're going to be interrupting and um I just wanted to make sure that this was on your radar because we did see a really, really big rush in the Hylion share price when it did actually come onto the markets. Now, if I go back to the daily chart, a lot of traders got burned. They came out, you know, Hylion aren't anticipating to do any revenues until 2022. So we still have a year off yet until their production becomes a thing. But I think they have an amazing product on the market. And I think, you know, showcasing what they have, they could be a really big player moving into the future um, if all of this does go ahead, which I think, I believe, it will do they do have a great co on their hands They're, the guy is called thomas healy i did do some background diving they have a the headquarters in texas now as you can see it did run up all the way to 60 dollars, and it had a massive sell-off and right now we are consolidating in that lovely area of support now if i zoom in for you guys onto the one hour or four hour time frame so i'm actually going to put it on the four hour time frame which is my favorite time frame to trade we can actually see that we are sitting at a lovely support and the support is actually drawn up around that $16.50 mark and below around there and to $15.00. Prices do not like going below this. And guys, once we start to see some EV catalysts with Tesla, you know, we've got Ride with Lawtown Motors, Workhorse. There's so many shares and so many stocks out there right now uh, in the EV space. And as soon as we start to see these catalysts flying, Neo, for example, then we are going to see a nice test again in that share price. And I think that this is going to start to move up to those highs once again of about $20. So right now it is in our support line. I did actually load up yesterday around the $16 to $16.50 range. And I do think that we are going to start to see again that nice area of consolidation but retest those highs which does give us approximately about a 15 to 17 percent upside from the current share price so if you haven't got Hylian on your radar then I would like to put that one on there again if you want to hold this one for the long term I'm going to be holding Hylian for a very long term I think that this is going to be a great play in my portfolio moving into the coming years and obviously getting them at these prices is going to be a steal for the long run especially as we've got such a lovely area of support down here right now now reverting back to Neo Neo was one of my bad boys guys one of my absolute favorites I was investing in neo since 20 dollars and if you want more information on neo then i suggest watching the video that i will link above for you guys right now and right now you can see that we are forming in fact a triple bottom on the neo share price it does not seem to like going down below 55 to 54 dollars this is a buy zone guys anywhere below 60 i would say is a good stock to have on your radio with uh, with um uh, Anywhere below $60, guys, it is good to have Neo on your radar, especially if you can get in around that $55, $54 range, which is where it hit yesterday. I think in the long run, Neo is going to actually have a price target on it. I've got it for $150 plus by the end of the year. So we're going to see a nice 2 or 3x from the current share price right now of about $55. Um, again, in the after hours, it has actually moved up. So if Neo is not on your radar, guys, then you need to make sure you're putting Neo on your radar because this is going to be one of the leaders in China in the EV space. And, you know, they're partnering with nvidia this is going to be a massive massive market they are interrupting they're innovating i mean look at this this is the the neo et7 this is a great product guys they have they have everything they've got neo brand they've neo food uh they've got a great co 
who doesn't love Neo? You know, Neo is one of the most hyped up stocks right now on YouTube. I mean, I've seen so many videos on Neo from so many YouTubers uh, talking about, you know, where Neo is going to go, where they think it's going to go. And it, it doesn't ever surprise me, you know, this stock, I think, once it comes down, this is just, uh, you know, big institutions trying to scare out those those retail investors. You know, they're getting they're getting scared because the, the share price is moving down, right? They're selling out. But what they don't realize, what retail investors like me and you don't realize, you know, is I've done a lot of background digging. Now, BlackRock, which is the Biden president, you know, they're buying up shares of NEO continuously at these points. They continue continually buy uh, NEO. Vanguard, you know, buying NEO. These are big, big institutions. They're buying millions of shares, guys. So you need to understand that, you know, this is this is a company that's going to be here to stay. It's going to be a leader. A lot of big institutions are backing NEO. Um, I'm not worried about delisting or any of these Chinese fears that seem to be happening. Um, this is this is a stock that I'm holding for the long term and I cannot wait to see our growth on NEO. If you are holding NEO, then let me know in the comments below um, and where you think you see it going because I love hearing from you guys. The next stock that I just want to briefly touch on is NNDM. I've been doing a lot of videos on NNDM. If you want to know more about them, then uh, then do be sure to check out one of my videos. Again, I'll link above. It does go into a full breakdown of where I have a price prediction on NNDM, and it gives you a lot, a lot of information about their website, about their CEO, about where the company and what they do. Uh, so make sure to see that video if you haven't. It's a really great video. Now, uh, NNDM have had a big pullback from $18. Now, if they are not going to be doing another share dilution, which they can't do until February, uh, mid-February, they may do that. Um, but I do think that we are going to see, you know, that nice test. If you don't have an NDM on your radar, anywhere below $14, make sure you pop it on your radar because it is sitting around that lovely support zone right now, as you can see around this area of consolidation. So again, and then we can hopefully retest these highs of about $18 per share, as you can see on the resistance line right now. Um, and as you can see as well, NNDM have had many share offerings and they continue to go down and up, down and up every time there has been a share dilution. Now guys, bear with me, my microphone has just gone off, so I am transferring my mic into a different player and uh, the next one i would like you to look over for is bft which stands for paysafe they're going to be a spac merging with paysafe and as you can see on the rsi indicator we actually have been sold off below that 30 zone and on the SMA line 200, we are actually at the low tail end of it, which does indicate optimum entry if we were going to be looking for a long chart, which we can see is actually going upwards. Now, if you look at what Paysafe does, essentially they collect payments for online gaming. This is going to be innovating a massive billion dollar industry. And if you look at the likes of Square, um, for example, and PayPal, just look at how well those share prices are performing. So this has a lot of room to grow. They are currently in their infancy and they are only at $15. But imagine how amazing this opportunity is going to be once this gets out and big retail investors start to buy up after the merger happens. As we can see, we have had a lovely pullback in the share price and it has a reclined 30%. So getting in at these levels at the $15, I do think that we will retest that $20 range and beyond. And moving into the future, we could see an astronomical push in this share price, especially with the predictions that they have. So I wanted to throw this stock on your radar. And again, you can see on the support here and the RSI that I am drawing up for you now that we do have a strong area of support around that $15 zone and it has retested those indicators. So that is why I'm extremely bullish and I want to put BFT on your radar. The next stock that I want to be talking about is Open Door. So if I bring up the chart here, you can see that Open Door is currently at around $25 per share. As of the time I'm making this video, it has had a big retracement back all the way from $31. So this is a really, really nice decline, guys, of about 30% again. And we can see on the RSI at the bottom, it has um, actually almost been sold off there at the 30. And I've also just put those two rings on that support zone of 25. Now, ARC continue to buy Open Door Technologies. Open Door are disrupting the uh, real estate and investment uh, industry. So this is a really nice sector to add is more diversification into your portfolio. Further. And as you can see, I'm drawing the resistance lines and the support line there for you. I reckon in the short term, we are easily going to have a nice retest of that 32 zone. And I, you can get this share anywhere by $25 or below. Then I think in the long term, this is going to be a really good hold. And especially as ARK continue to buy up this stock. So guys, if you could give this video a big fat like for me, 
And if you are new, then do feel free to hit that big red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. I make videos like this every day and ones talking to the camera. I hope that you did find a lot of value inside this video. Do stay tuned because I do have an incredible video coming out for you guys next week on some solar energy and wind plays. Again, sorry for the interruption on the microphone at the end of this video today. Um, I did actually have to change over because my mic broke onto my camera and I've had to extract the files from the sound there to finish off the second half of this video. Anyway, have a lovely, lovely weekend ahead and I look forward to seeing you back on my channel for some more content soon. Peace out.